Welcome everybody to another episode of Inglot Meet and Greet with Naz on his phone. So, <laughs> oh hi! Hands. And then um, this is someone that I was just telling Miriam that we grew up in the same neighborhood. Wow! I was going straight, <laughs> going straight to the kiss in the ass. You know, like you know, you are like you know. Let me, I, I don't need my lips to wander around. <laughs> no way! We're here to pull you back out. No bit deep. Don't do this guy. Grew up in the same neighborhood. Wow! Starting now, you know, when you go out to a bar, give you bread. Oh my God! We were standing beside you, buying a give you bread, and they were going. <laughs> exactly. Um, and right. yet, how many followers do you have? <laughs> yeah, no, I did not get on stage. I was just standing there, by the way. Steve, the when the anointing was passing, he was I just passing you by. I, 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 no, I unfortunately, I came late to the game. Uh, Red, basket mouths. Yeah. Oh, butcher. Yeah. Because yeah. I want to be very careful how to pronounce it. Every once in a while, I call it a butcher, and then I'm like, no, it's wrong. Yeah, a butcher. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Welcome to the show now. Now they welcome. You are coming. Yeah, you are doing your. your no, no, we welcome. know where this. Look, I'm producing. You welcome the earlier. So. Yes, I'm sure. I know. I know welcome where we're going to introduce on the, camera. The clap track. So already, the, as soon as I stopped there, it was going to be clapping in the background, like we had the okay. in-studio audience, <laughs> <laughs> like we do now. <laughs> then no clap. All our five, all our five people. crew members. <laughs> we'll clap, but then um, it's amazing because. A comedian, everybody knows you for that. You're an actor, you're a producer, writer, um, both writer, <laughs> no, wait, writer, producer, then on the music side and on the TV and film side, okay, the TV side. Then, which other one do you want to add again? Do you direct? Yeah, yeah you uh-huh. direct. Director. <laughs> Director. Do you draw when you're doing your animations or do you let them draw? No, they draw. They The other thing I can add is that you are the ultimate agitator of ah. Bucci. Oh. When if there's anyone that I've ever seen angry, I mean, Bucci basically plays angry man. But the way you just make him a little more angry than normal on the regular occasion, please welcome Basketball. Thank you. Well, it's, nice. it's nice having you here. Now, do you have any questions? Before I start to ask my own questions, so no, just so, so, get that that, so you know, what I would say is this. Remember, after they dragged us that we should let the guests talk, mm. can you allow the guests to talk this time? No, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, just maybe once. So, so if we backslide, just know it's Damola's fault. Okay. We but, will backslide. When <laughs> we backslide. So welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yes. And also, congratulations on your Amazon deal. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you. That thank is you. very, very cool. No, welcome to the Amazon family. Oh, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> the show that is up. The show that is up. The reason why Nas said welcome is so that you can buy ground about it that you have. We are part of the... Yeah, yeah. 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 we were here before you. Yeah. you, are, you are I'm people. trying to counteract your family now. Now, bring your now. chest back no, inside. No, now. The family was too much. <laughs> I said, I would do it too. We have climbed small. We have climbed small. We too, we too. We be no Amazon. They know us too. I was I was around when they were discussing with you guys. I approved. You guys. Oh, oh, we thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll send you. Yes. We'll send you your five percent. And a bottle of Exo. Thank you very much. But from Damola Share. Thank you. Thank you. So um, your show on Amazon, what's it? What's it about? Really? Is he allowed to talk? Are yes, it's been, it's been announced. Now. Yeah, it's been announced. Yeah, but I, I, I will speak. Yeah, yeah. I'll just move. Around. I'll just dance around it. Dance around it. Around so it's a, it's a show. It's on. It's on Amazon Prime. Video and it they have they've done it in Canada and other places Australia, Germany and, mm-hmm. and it, they decided to do it in Nigeria mm-hmm. and trust me, you've it's I, I, it was amazing because I, I I had to go and watch the previous ones and when I watched it I was like I I, I knew our guys can kill it you know mm-hmm. but I did not know how good. It was going to be. Mm -hmm. So when we did it and I saw what was happening, I was like, you know when you see comedians in their realest elements, pure comedy, not written, no nothing, and it's going to be a great one and a great platform for the comedians that were... Oh, nice. And so I guess that's the first question. Comedy in Nigeria is one of our, like, it's one of our biggest... It was one of our biggest exports Ex- before Nollywood and even Afrobeats. Yeah, yeah. 
Because I remember back in the day, you guys used to travel. I can uh, hear on that thing for fame. Mm. Where, wow. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I really? actually featured in his. You uh, featured? Uh, yeah, no, wow. please. If you go, <laughs> yeah, just wait. So you were an extra? Yes, I was. So an love it. <laughs> Basket Mouse show, Fashola was still campaigning to be governor. Oh, yeah. Then. Yeah. It was at a co hotel yeah. where in the tent. It wasn't Expo Hall. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the show right Uncensored. now. Uncensored. Uncensored. I remember. Yes. If you go back and watch Uncensored. You remember the show? You don't remember I this guy? Wait, just wait. <laughs> just qualify. Let's see now. Let's see. Let me that for now. <laughs> Before, I used to know the exact minutes mark, but time has passed. Mm -hmm. I could tell you, if you watch that thing at about minute 30, 40, basketball to crack one joke, cameraman pans to me, and I'm there laughing. Turns back to basketball, basketball says, okay, pans to me again. Okay, Let me get this straight. So it's not that you are featured in the show, <laughs> wait, that you are a laughing head. Please, no, wait, 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 no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, 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 please. Let me get this straight. And it so so interrupted him. our interview <laughs> to talk about how they featured you as a talking yes. head. Yes. So yes. this is when they say everybody shouts hallelujah. <laughs> they showed you shouting hallelujah. Yes. And this is what but, you did. But, but trust me, if if I if, if they did that to me if, uh, on say a show like Death Comedy Jam and I was in the crowd, I'll tell people that yeah, that was me exactly. at 16 minutes, five yeah, seconds. Wait, other, how many other people could have been that could they have so, come to? This is a one hour people. show. We have not answered. The, the camera one guy question. was just in love with you. That's one question. Okay. So please. He's now censored. I don't think he's allowed to talk <laughs> for the next 20 minutes. Oh, censored. Please. No, please. So tell us how he got into comedy, please. No. And don't answer. I don't answer. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm saying don't answer. It's not your interview. Please. Okay, uh, I can't help. Don't worry. Don't. Um, <laughs> so comedy, the thing is, when I didn't know I was funny, funny yeah, okay. because Every, my friends from Dominic, Tutu, my brother, we all had a crazy sense of humor. And we were into comics, so we were very, we were very animated with our conversations and imagination and all that. So sometimes we used to do what they call wording, your mama kind of stuff. Right. And I was really good because I was quick and spontaneous. I had a very bad mouth. And <laughs> you got into fights? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> So that was where it started. Mm. So because of the environment I was in, it was normal. Mm. But when I went to, when I went to, started going to secondary school, and I realized that when I say some things, people like burst out laughing, like mm -hmm. no man stopped that. Mm -hmm. Me and my guys would just giggle over. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so um, apparently wording was a thing in the school. Mm -hmm. So people get into fights, wording themselves. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a fight with somebody, you can't fight physically. Mm -hmm. You come and get me to so so you yab the person. Wow. So they used to pay me five naira. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that was enough for biscuits and drink. Now. That was enough. Then I used to was um, I can't mention the name of the brand, <laughs> but one of those yogurt drink and um, one sausage meal like that. <laughs> That's what I needed the money for. So they would come. I was in um, GSS One F. I don't know why they put me in F all through. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> one F, two F, three F, all the way, and it almost reflected in my results. <laughs> you can't let me talk now, but I want to say something. So Don't. Censored. So, so I started doing that, and it was fun. Like, mm. I would go into someone else's class, and I would destroy the person. Mm -hmm. Then that, it followed me, and the next thing, I was giving, I was telling some of my friends, I was telling them some funny, crazy story, and they were all laughing. And my eldest brother's friend, Alaji, mm -hmm. called me and said, have you watched Eddie Murphy's Delirious? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that Eddie Murphy was a comedian. I knew him as an actor, actor. Yeah. because I was a kid. That time, nothing did now. Yeah. Now, if the VHS managed, come your, yeah. to your front, now you're mm -hmm. watching it. Yeah. And I, he said I should come to his house. I got there, he gave me the table go and watch it. As I played that thing, as I was watching it, I was like, Wow, I would like That's to do this. This is what I want to do. And since then, I started gravitating towards that path and it followed me. But then, music was also part of me. Mm -hmm. You know, that it was something I was just doing for, like we used to do all the, you know, rap, beatboxing, uh, beatboxing and rapping, you know, street rap stuff, mm -hmm. you know, battling. I even went as far as doing those first stack rap competitions. What's your rap name? 
Oh damn! <laughs> because it's not basketball. So, no, what's your rap name? It was it was the lyricist. Uh, the lyricist. Okay, that's yeah. actually cool. So, was it yeah. bright the lyricist or just the lyricist? Just the lyricist. Just the lyricist. Okay. Ah, that's yeah. a cool name. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so I was yeah, expecting yeah. something less cool. No, like, yeah. like like my rap name, for example. Let's not. No, no, yes, yeah, no. <laughs> like rap names that embarrass you. So be, be, back then, when I started, it was it was deep flavor mm-hmm. because the way I used to rap was I go, I, I, I do it with a little bit of flavor. Yeah, so that's like the kind that. of name I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, flavor. but I was like, I don't want this. No, then I switched to the lyrics. The lyrics then. Yeah. <laughs> And that's it. The They're comedy. Right, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, but I, I know rappers and I was just saying that I can imagine that's the kind of rap that you used to say. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? But then the next thing I went to uni Ben. Then I don't think I've shared this story before with anybody. Exclusive. <laughs> that's how you now not say it. <laughs> I, I say it. So we used to we used to rap. So my, myself and my brother we were rapping in uni Ben. So there was a show in the Kewa campus, uh, and we went in, in, in Uboa campus. So we went to the Kewa campus. What's the time like, for those of us that did not go to uni, Ben? How long does that take you? Do you hop on the bus? Yeah, we bus. So it's like it's like a, a good 30, 45 minutes journey. And I'm like, been um, around. Why are you stalking in basketball? <laughs> <laughs> From time. <laughs> yeah. He knows his geography. <laughs> so. So my friend back then in Ekema campus, who like we went to the same secondary school, that's how mm-hmm. we became friends. He's my manager right now. Mm-hmm. And he, he he told me to come over that someone was doing a show and mm-hmm. he would like for us to feature mm-hmm. as the rap group. And they, they, they did an audition, so we rapped. Mm-hmm. And they said, yeah, you guys are cool. We'll get you guys on, on the bill. And we went there to perform. Then the MC was bombing. The guy couldn't get anybody to laugh. He was just destroying the show and himself. Like just, people were upset, they were oh. booing him. Mm. And backstage, I was just looking, I was like, ah, I can do this thing. You know? So I was itching to get on that mic. And I told Dotun to talk to the guy. Mm. Like, please, I would like to perform. The guy like, you just got just finished rapping. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I said, guy, trust me. I can do, I can make your show change. And the guy was like, I change your whole thing. And the guy was like, nah, what's the hell? What, what? I said, what, what's, what's the worst? Yeah, what's, what's the worst that can happen? Mm-hmm. What's the worst that can happen? I was like, you know, what name? I said, yeah, Bright. And he called me up on stage and I went on, dropped the first one. And I remember it like it was yesterday. The first sound I heard when the, the laughter, came with, because it was like in a small hall. Mm. So they had, t- it's a lecture hall, so they had tables in front of them. Mm. So they laughed and started hitting on the table. <laughs> so I was scared, I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> so apparently, when you make them laugh hard, the way they celebrate you, they would drum on the table. Mm. So I understood what was going on, so I continued dropping it. And I nailed the hell out of that show. Mm. With no train, no nothing, no preparation. So I just mm. killed it. And I was like, that's it. So the next morning, that was the first time I experienced fame. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, because everyone, because there was no internet now, so it was word of mouth. Man, there was one guy that came from a war to kill this show, bright, blah, blah, blah. And I was walking and people started hailing me, like, yo, bright, man, nice one. Last night, man, you kill him. And I went to the restaurant to eat and they gave me free food. Someone paid Aww. for me. I was like, this is dope, man. Like, <laughs> then I said it. That must have felt really good. No, it was good. <laughs> it was a good <laughs> feeling. <laughs> yeah, because it was from five naira back then for warden <laughs> that I did not know could <laughs> land me to a point where they're offering me free food. And then the next thing, I started doing it more often. Like if I hear that there's a show happening, I plug my way in, you know. And the conversation started going around, like, you know, there's this guy that's killing it. Then the first time that I they paid me properly mm-hmm. was, I can't, it was in 2000. No, 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 it was in 1998. It was 1998. That was the first year, 1998. So I was performing at the law induction dinner. I was destroying the show, no man. That's a bad guy. <laughs> That's probably <a> bad guy. <laughs> but man, I was I was on fire back then. I'm still on fire, but you know. But back then, but fire of youth. I think fire of youth. <laughs> so one guy, his name is Samson or Hyomaha. He's late now. 
So he, there was a show happening on campus and they didn't have any entertainment, mm -hmm. right? And they now came to the law induction because someone left the law induction to the show and told them that, look, there's a young guy at the law induction that is killing it. You guys should go and get him. Mm. So Samson was already there and told me that, when are you done? Like, I would like for you to perform. It was a gig. I can't mention the name of the hair brand because <laughs> they, are, they are owing me. They said they were going to pay me 500 now. Uh, like 500. It was good then, Wait, now. now. 500. Yeah. It was no, good no. now. 500. 1998. 1998. No, dollar, bro. dollar was $15. Bro, you need to dollar. understand one thing. That was $10. Was it been in? I was a broke. <laughs> you, you don't see broke. It was still $10. Someone was happy. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> that they gave me free food. Do you know it's 500 now? No, I mean, now one week, ago, I go chop for one. And guess what? I didn't used to charge more than I wanted. Like, if I need to eat mm -hmm. this weekend and I need 500, that's, that's the amount the I'm charging. <laughs> that's how I went through school now. Wow. I was just performing, collect. Mm. So they, I said 500, I said they'll pay me 250 naira now. Mm. I said, oh, yeah, now give me, give me, give me. <laughs> so I went to the show, nailed it, and the guy was like, they was, give me my money, the balance. That's mm. how the people disappeared. <laughs> no problem. The next thing, it was, it was getting, I was getting more excited. Then my department, social science, they were having their, uh, like the, the, was the end, at the end of year party or something. Mm -hmm. And they called me and asked how much I was going to charge. But at this point, Bayo Adeke was my manager, so we went there together. And I said 2,000 naira. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, eh. <laughs> And the guy was like, okay, we'll pay you. I was like, 2,000? Bro. Why? I, I didn't even say anything. 2000. So you want to start in price with no more? They're not letting you rent now. They're 2000. I don't have money now. $10. 2000. You don't see where is the person in Brooklyn? Let me tell you how terrible it was. In year one, we didn't have a bed. So what I used to do is that I'll fold my clothes and use as pillow for bare floor, no carpet, nothing. That's but so, this is a university. Yeah, it's a university. Oh, God, so God. now, Eventually, somebody, they, they got, the, where I was staying back then in Lagos, they now got a new mattress. The old one mm -hmm. was now free. And I said, when I went to Lagos one time, I told them, like, can I take it? And they said, yes, it was messed up. So I had to meet one of my friends that was a tailor to, sew. to help me sew the cover. Mm. And I covered it. It was now neat. And I carried it. Bro, that's how broke I was. How did you get it on the bus? My brother, me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't are, talk now. These, the the, these are the things that I want to know. <laughs> the gist. Yes. My brother, I carry the thing, put for the food, I fold the thing, bend it, put out for balls, took it to Benin. That's how the first day the mattress entered the room. That was the first time I slept well after eight months. <laughs> so you tell me, say 500 naira. <laughs> my brother. You see, this has. Don't mind now. That's how it talks. Okay. <laughs> ten dollars is ten dollars. Oh, <laughs> well, let me even tell you why five hundred dollars was his lot. They did not pay him his balance. <laughs> they didn't pay him. So it's even, even less. It was five dollars. It was even less. Not that it thing. even meant something to them. Ah, uh, <laughs> the next and that's how it started. Then the more because I didn't know I was going to make money from it. I was just doing it for the fun of it. Because to be honest, I love making people laugh. Mm -hmm. Making people happy. And the next one that happened was Tony Tetwila. Then we had become friends. I don't enter the industry small. Tony now said there was a gig happening for Shell. And I went for the meeting and they were, they were going to give me, he stood for me because they, 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 they hadn't heard me perform or mm. anything. And he stood for me and said he's going to do a good job. And he gave me 20K. Thank God that it wasn't 2K. <laughs> Thank God he didn't take 2K from Shell. <laughs> Thank God. No. This time I don't move into Lagos. <laughs> so, Thank God. No. So 20K, as he said 20K, as I was sitting there, as he said 20K, I nearly fall. <laughs> I was like, in my mind, so at that point, everything the woman was saying, I couldn't hear anything. In my mind, I was just hearing 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, they now paid me the money, cash, right there on the wow. spot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and I just I took the money to my mom, oh. and I think I gave her, no, it wasn't 20K, it was 30,000. Mm -hmm. So I gave her 20K and held. 10K, mm -hmm. and I went to Mandela's. 
to buy myself those old suits. Oh my God. Because <laughs> I need to look good for the show. <laughs> I don't need, no, everything, my brother. These are the buy new things those days. What do you concern me with swag? As long as it is, it is clean and well ironed, you starch the suit. Oh my God! <laughs> you starch the suit. I got everything, did the gig, and from then it's all happening. But it, you know, it, 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 it's story, but the one thing that happened that actually changed. Everything I skipped this part was Alibaba when Alibaba came to Uniben. So what happened was I wanted him to see me perform. Yeah. I didn't know how to. Mm-hmm. So he was he came to perform. A friend of mine, Ifi Agorio, paid my my show ticket, mm-hmm. and we he told me to sit down and watch the professional work. And since this is what you want to do, mm-hmm. I have watched. I was working at Alibaba. So this is the first time I've now seen a Nigerian, Nigerian do it. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? And That's I was like, it. wow. So now the type of materials I was creating, I had to change it because I was a little bit more cerebral mm-hmm. back then. So I had to now, okay, you know what? This one's no good too then. So I'm look and I went even that deeper. Level, yeah. Level. Mm-hmm. So because you no know, now the mafia they learned from. Mm-hmm. So it was busy. so then. The next time Alibaba was now coming, it was like a few months, eight months later or so. At this point, my plan was to walk your way up there. So whoever is bringing Alibaba will call you to open, open. for them. Mm-hmm. So I said, performing different gigs, all the movers, just to let the promoter mm-hmm. notice. Be aware of you. And eventually he heard mm-hmm. and reached out to me and they booked me for the gig. Now, because I was young, mm-hmm. they now put me first. Mm-hmm. And that time, Alibaba will never have a show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I say never. The reason why I worked this hard is to have this man see me perform on stage. So I went to talk to some of my friends, to talk to the promoter. We begged the promoter. We wanted to now almost muscle him. So I said, <laughs> I was a bad boy that time. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we begged and begged and then he now said, okay, no problem. So he put me like two comedians before Alibaba. This time Alibaba was inside the hall. I came on stage, my best materials. I just dropped everything. I know I could see him, yeah. right? Because mm-hmm. it was just at the, it was a big theater. So this kind of, like, mm-hmm. he has the elevated, whatever mm-hmm. spot there. And I dropped one material. I think that joke was from, my, I did something spontaneous from with Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Someone said something and I took it and flipped it and turned it to it. Those kind of jokes are the funnier ones, the funniest ones. As I dropped it, I just saw Alibaba. Like I noticed him stand up and give me a standing ovation. I started clapping and I was like, shit. So as he stood up, everyone stood up. That feeling mm. was golden, you know? And when I, when, he was, when I was done performing, at this point, he came down. So as I was leaving, I greeted him, and he was like, a nice one. Here's my card. Call me. You see how I hustle. So sometimes when I see some comedians, they just make me say, Baba, man, I phone you. Come put me for sure. I'm like, no. Like, <laughs> show me. Show, show me. Why? why? But I'm interested. What was your first failure? And how did you react to it? Because you have been success. Yeah, yeah, been, like, been success good. has been Talent, like yes. on your shoulder basically from the beginning. First, you ever like bomb? I'm still I have like, bombs. I have several times now. Okay. It's normal. Okay. Like, and my, the bombing is not, I won't say I bomb entirely. So the thing is, sometimes I want to change my style mm-hmm. of delivery. So I'm trying a new style. And if it doesn't mm-hmm. work, yeah. Yeah, the bombing is not that, like because of these jokes, my four flat and some, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but back then, the reason why it was a little bit hard for me to bomb was because if you insult me, I will destroy you. <laughs> I, I will destroy you. <laughs> and that's the truth. I don't <laughs> hit somebody so bad, the guy put a gun to my head. You. And you are, yeah. It's that bad. Like, I went in. So I was performing, and the guy was disturbing me. I was, you know, so he was trying to... So I was like, you know, fuck this shit. And I went in, pow. Dude, the things I said, I will kill myself. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> so the more I was doing it, then the guy that I was controlling the light now put the light on him mm. and now dissected this guy. Ah. This is babe next to him. No, his guys, they now moved. <laughs> so that was the past. Is that who you're talking about? So that was the past. So people were turning and laughing at him. Ah, I felt bad for him, but then he pushed me. Ah, I said things, so. Ah. Are you calmer now in life? Why? Me? Yes. No, they didn't teach you. That thing didn't stop me now. I mean, <laughs> no, not, in, no, no, not the gun part. I mean, in general, you. Are you in terms of, No, yeah. I don't even like the thing is, I evolved. So okay. that, that, those type of performance, Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And it, it only happened in universities. Yeah. When I moved to Lagos, you yeah, know, corporate games. No, it's not that. Like, that's not the part. It's that that whole, if you push me, I push you back a million times. Is that still your personality? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, some people evolve and, no. and, no. and, and go. find Jesus. Find no, but it, no, it, it evolved as well, but not just too aggressive, you know. But if you come, if someone comes for me, mm -hmm. like in, in any way, Mm -hmm. And except I know that it's not, I think there's, there's, it's not, it's not relevant. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'll, I'll hit you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question, right? So we talked about. Um, is it twenty minutes? Wait, now. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you said that um, Ed Murphy was like your first um, inspiration. Yeah. Then Alibaba was like your second inspiration. Seeing in yeah. Nigeria and do it. Yeah. Then I know that you are close, or you have a relationship with Russell Peters. Yeah. So what's that like? Oh yeah, that was fun to realize. Oh yeah. As in when I saw, so I was like, oh, oh okay. Russell. So Russell was, I went for Just for Laughs Comedy Festival many years ago in Montreal, Canada. So, Sorry, is that the one where you didn't have visa to come back from the US? No, 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 this guy knows my stories. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This guy lives in your house. Uh, <laughs> <and Damola. laughs> no, I'm just saying. So, Zulu, tell Damala to be cool. <laughs> I'm just saying. So that, 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 one, that was another experience. This, that one happened after the Montreal okay. one. Oh, that was a very crazy experience. I, I'm a madman, though. Clearly. No, I'm a very mad. I, I'm a crazy man. They, they, they denied me a Canadian visa to go do a gig because the guys that did the, the, the applied messed up the whole process. And I, did, I couldn't lie. Mm -hmm. So when they asked me, because I told them the number of shows I was doing, and the guys filed for a lesser number so to avoid tax. Right. So I told them, uh, so because of my honesty, they didn't do all those, they are banned or anything. Mm. So me, I needed to do the show. Show don't sell out. Mm -hmm. Do you get? My brother, now I tell my guy, I say, guy, what should you go? Uh, what would we go with the border? The <laughs> guy say, I, I say, I just get feeling. <laughs> <laughs> say, if we reach the border. <laughs> <laughs> Something will Something. happen. So this I is said, the New York border? Or what? Yeah, yeah. they were in Buffalo. Oh, but OK. Yeah, so we mm -hmm. went in. I told, the, I told the guys, see what I need from you do a proper uh, document and mm. send it to me. So they sent it to me. Mm. So I went, we flew down. My guy was just looking at me. He didn't understand. We go to the border, border and he got to my turn. I said, your passport. I gave him the passport. The guy, check, check, check. Like, you, you don't have a visa? I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let me explain. <laughs> What happened was... So what happened was, <laughs> see, I have a show. I swear, I started explaining to the guy. I said, you know what? To make it easy, check online, just check. The guy checked, saw me. I said, hey, you see this part? I explained everything. I said, look, my problem is I don't want to disappoint the people. Mm -hmm. I, this is my first time doing that kind of gig. I begged. The guy now said, OK. Went in, went through some stuff, and they processed a, 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 a temporary um, yeah, travel, document doc tra travel document for me. So from the border straight to stage, mm -hmm. and 50, 30 minutes of my first, yeah, the 30 minutes of my performance was narrating <laughs> what happened? everything. So while I was on my way to the show, I was like, OK, this is how you're going to do your, so it saved me my jokes. Mm. So I just, I just used this one. <laughs> but this one was Montreal. Mm. I went there. I had performed, so all the comedians were, in all, were all in one room. They were having a party. And I was seeing all the people that had been worshipping, you know. You know, Louis Black, okay, different. So you kind of felt like how Damala feels right now. Wow. I don't know how it feels. Wow. 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 So, I was, so I was seeing all the guys that had been watching their stuff, 
top comedians. I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. So nobody know me now. Mm-hmm. So the next thing I now saw Russell, and then I was a big, big fan. I was a student of Russell. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to go say hi to him. And someone walked up to him, and I don't want to like, you know, so I waited. So I tried to do that thing like four or five times. Anytime I want to walk to him to like, you know, mm-hmm. talk to him, Somebody someone walking. And I didn't want to just, you know. Mm-hmm. Then after a while, I timed it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, uh, uh, nah, nah, nah.